Yo guys, welcome to the last lap. Don't forget to drop a lovely juicy five star rating if you're watching an Apple podcast or Spotify. Hope you enjoy and let's get into it. I want to talk about Max briefly. Okay. Um, Max talking about his future because mm. right now, Max Verstappen, through everything he says, through his, you know, the esports stuff he does um, off track as well, is very much, um, it feels like racing is his, that's his thing, right? In terms of he doesn't seem to, not at least publicly, do much in a way outside yep, of racing. Of racing. Yeah. But he's talked about um, his future numerous times and maybe indicate that he wouldn't be doing it long term. Mm -hmm. Is he going to be like a Fernando Alonso? Probably not. Um, but he talked about Le Mans. Wouldn't write that off in the future. Wouldn't do IndyCar. But do you think wouldn't like... Wouldn't do IndyCar. Wouldn't do IndyCar. A lot, oh, no, a lot of these drivers are scared of IndyCar. They, they don't want to do ovals. <clears throat> Which... It is crazy, to be fair. Ovals are scary. They are scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when I mean, you shunt... Safer, don't you know, sh but. Yeah, but like... Yeah. Like, when you shunt, you shunt. Yeah. Oh, we saw a caught, caught on her last year at uh, Indy. Sketchy, that was scary. Man. But this is what I, I think what makes Indy so good is that it teaches you in a lot of different ways, a lot of different like, kind of fundamental. But do, do we think this, because it's hard for me, like Max says this, but then the the evidence, as much as we can see from the outside looking in any, anyway, seems to suggest that racing is his, his, his life and by far and away the biggest thing in his life. So <clears throat> do we think we're going to get a Max Verstappen that stays in F1 because he's still super young, stays in F1 well into his 30s? Like I, I, I personally think if he wins a lot, like back to back to back, like championships and he gets like six, seven, eight, whatever, he'll retire quite early. I think I think it's because of like as as well. It's like all relative as well. He started yeah. so early, so like a lot of people look at his stats at his age and go, "Oh my god, he's better than that guy because he's got this amount of wins at age whatever." Yeah. But he's he's been in the sport for this is he's like seventh season now, hmm. or is it eight? Wait, because twenty fifteen to now, so this will be his eighth season. season. Eight, no, no, this will be his ninth. Yeah, ninth bloody. <laughs> that's I mean, a long time. That's somebody's whole career. Yeah, that, that's that's some driver's whole career already. So I think relatively speaking, I think he probably, I mean, there's no reason why he can't carry on because again, like age, like Fernando Alonso was showing that you can still be so competitive like, yeah. into your 40s even. But I just think as someone who got into the sport so quickly, he might not lose a love for it, but might decide that his time has arrived earlier than someone else. Yes. It's because because you know that, how many seasons you're in. The These sport. drivers know nothing else. Like, like yeah. most of them start when they're eight. Yeah. Verstappen was starting when he was like four, yeah. probably. Like, Jos got him in straight. Like, you've kind of got that military, like, approach that so many of these drivers have to take mm. to get the opportunities to then get the experience and the skill to, to make it to F1. Yeah, a thousand. So, so my point is, if he wins a lot, then maybe the motivation dies a bit. He's like, F1 completed it, mate. And, oh, that's what Rosberg yeah. did. Yeah. And that could kind of <clears throat> shorten his career if that's the case. But let's say, for example, he has a couple of close title battles. He loses a couple and he's like, that's the motivation. That's the trigger. Okay, yeah. I need to get that back. If yeah. that happens and he gets into a lot of title battles that are quite close, um, he'll stay in F1 much, mm. much longer. And it depends on the team as well. Yeah. yeah. Can you see him staying at Red Bull for his entire I'm, career? When you look at F1 and look at all the F1 drivers, they do not stay at the same team throughout their career. Mm. <clears throat> is that going to be the case? Is Max Verstappen going to be the outlier? Who knows? If Red Bull are not got, if Red Bull one day just does not have a competitive car, he'll be out that door because people will be like knocking on his door saying, come to our team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I hear it. That's the, that, that's the thing. Like you say, motivation. When, when Lewis moved to Mercedes, he was motivated by a new challenge, yeah. taking a team that was was struggling and building something kind of like Michael Schumacher did when he went to Ferrari. <coughs> you know, Sebastian Vettel, when he left Red Bull to Ferrari, he was yeah. motivated by the dream of of, of winning and, and doing what Michael did at Ferrari. Yeah. Nico Rosberg won and then retired. Uh, you know, Kimi Raikkonen carried on until, you know, he, he, his skills started to, to f fall off ultimately. And it's like all these drivers are, are motivated differently. I, I would just be, yeah... It's one of them as well, like, you know, Max is still mid-20s. Mm. Yeah. Do you even know, like, sometimes you just don't even know what motivates you. Like... We would never know what motivates Max no. right now. No, he no, might no. not even know what exactly. motivates him. You know what no, I mean? And what motivates him now <coughs> will change yeah. over that time as well. Mm. Like, whatever his goals now are in Formula One, 
five years from now, he might go. You look at Vettel, no, kind of Vettel's character now. arc as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah a thousand. So. Like, it was all about, it was ruthless on track. So you're saying he's going to get long hair? Max <laughs> Max. <laughs> like, with Vettel, the he same looked, time, be long hair. with Vettel's his situation, the motivation kind of died because he was no longer in cars that are winning mm. races. Mm -hmm. And he's in a situation before where he was winning races mm. quite a lot, or at least had a car that was up there. Yeah. So it's it really, if if it gets to a situation where he's in an uncompetitive car, he's going to jump ship and then that's a new motivation and then just keep carrying on. Mm. I don't know, there's people like Fernando Alonso, they're like a bit of an outlier. Because this guy just races. It don't matter. He, the guy left F1. He loves He was doing up every single racing series. Ever. See, this is what... So, so if I had to... If it wasn't for the statements Max has made about yeah. there's more to life than F1 and blah, yeah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. I would have assumed that Max would go like Fernando. Mm. Yeah. Where, get your own museum with a cart in track. Whenever you're not racing, you're like racing, racing in carts. You're like racing in cars. <clears throat> you're... Like, because Fernando still loves it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. He, he's been able to keep that mo motivation and he's motivated enough to stay in F1 and still want to be at the pinnacle of, of motorsport. And he's 41 now. <clears throat> That's incredible. Fernando That's, will still be driving when he's like yeah. 50. You have, to assume, you have to assume right now, as we speak, Fernando Alonso's racing somewhere. Mm. <laughs> in a go-kart somewhere, he must be doing something. That's yeah. how he'd love for racing that much. But it's like, right now, Verstappen, he's got how many wins? He's got uh, two titles now. If he wins a couple more, he's already part of the greats of the sport. Mm -hmm. When you get to that point, when you start winning like three, four, five. Mm. Some people don't even win races yeah. in Formula One. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He's, he's already got that. So right now he's in the position of, you know, like when you complete a video game and then you're just doing side missions now. Just like that's a good way of putting it. That's a shot. Playing GTA, yeah. he's delivering pieces. Like <laughs> he's, he's not doing the game anymore. He's completed the game. You get me? That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, but th that's what I find interesting as well. Like in 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 ninety five percent of ways, all of these drivers are just human beings, like you and yeah. like like us. Like they're just, and, and we're all different. We all are. Yeah. It's just it, it's that thing that makes them special. That they've got that talent, and it's just how much, how long, how far do they take that? Do you do a Rosberg or do you do a Alonso, yeah. they're prime examples. How dedicated are you to keep that going? The craft, well. which there's no right or wrong answer. No, because no, people are all different. You know? <clears throat> like yeah. Rosberg was like, want to take them out. Well, even like with Daniel taking a year out, you know, a lot of people have criticised that move, but ultimately he feels like that's the best move for him as a human being, as a person. Yeah. yeah so and as long as he's making the right decision by him, then that is the right decision. And it doesn't really matter what fans think or anybody no. outside. It's, that's his decision on what he wants to do. If Max Verstappen decides, okay, after, I don't know, 10 years, I'll just pack it in rather than not race, that's up to him. If he wants to be driving esports, let him do that. Yeah. yeah. 